was in that drill part, my name is Matt. Now today I'm going to do a video, I want to go over the whole car and show you every millimeter of paint that has fallen off, you could say. So today's video is how is my paint holding up after one year? Now it's been slightly over a year and uh, you guys might be shocked at how much it's actually thumbed off. Alright, yeah, so pretty much over one year ago, a year and a month, pretty much, this got painted. Now, I did a video on YouTube 10 months ago about $800 paint job, and everyone was obviously shocked and surprised, as you would be, because it's so cheap. Um, and, you know, here it is in real life. Now, disclaimer on that video, so the whole car was $800, but if you look carefully, for the first week, this bonnet was black. It wasn't actually sandy top. So then I had to go back and pay another hundred dollars just to do the bonnet um, because like, they had to sand the Raptor off and then obviously paint it. Um, if I sand it off the Raptor myself, they're going to do it for free because they already had the paint like in the shop, so all they probably have to do is just give it a quick sand. But um, here it is, and over a year later, it's still holding up. Well, like I said before, uh, not not so much now, but earlier on, there were little bits that have been coming off. So yeah, we'll go around the whole car and I'll show you all the nicks and crannies, little scratches. All right, now remember guys, we're not counting the black paint because I did that and that's nothing to do with what they did. Now, um, right now in front of me right here is the worst part on the whole car. Now, if you can barely see it on camera there, you can barely see it in real life. Now, it's in this shadow line here of when the door goes back in, just between the black here. And pretty much from here to here and this bit here, there's like, it's been painted over now, but it's, it was red and it was about that long and it was like five, ten mil thick, so it was really bad. And, and how it happened was, it didn't happen for driving or anything. It happened because I was painting these black again, give them a fresh coat, and I put tape over the door as you do, so you can tape it up, newspaper and stuff. But when I pulled the tape off, it pulled off the paint, which is obviously ridiculous. And at the time I was very mad because that happened like a week or two after just been painted and obviously I'd spent all the money and stuff, I was a bit frustrated. But looking at it now and the touch of paint's held on and stuff, not too bad. And no, literally no one knows about that because obviously you're not looking at that, you're looking at the whole car as it drives past and stuff. So so this is the worst spot. I'll, I'll show you a close up now. This will look really bad close up, but believe me you can't see it. So camera focuses there it is, see how bad that is? And then there's that little spot there as well. But if I step two meters away, Obviously, you're not going to look exactly at that. You'll be looking at the car and everything else going on. So that's why no one's really picked up on it or noticed it. Now, I'll show you some more little things as we go along. For example, here, that's obviously the rubber seals there and it's been cut out or something or fell off and the little red's there. Now, this is obviously plastic and it's just a rubber seal. So when they taped it, it's a little bit off. And as you can see, this actually happened a week or two ago. It's very new. And obviously this whole panel can move this can move up and down as you can see so these were always gonna sort of not work over time if anything now around these they went over the line as you can see and the red underneath that's from me when I painted these I didn't um, paint them very well and it came off but I don't know I should I should have probably touched this up by now but I haven't because in an ideal world, world I'd love to do all these side ones glossy black glossy black and the wool bar glossy black so it matches the sun visor and pretty much everything else because the matte black doesn't look very good um, but I did matte black at the time because it was like a better finish and it looked better but I regret it <laughs> now back here now this happened really recently at Gore Beach if you're there camping my, my badge came off now these I looked on eBay these are actually like like 50 bucks easily so I'm really annoyed about that and you can see the paint is actually just painted over the glue residue which is very slack but also you expect it from them because the price was so low now they didn't take this off or this off they were just taped over all of it now back here you can just see the red across there paints fading there now obviously the tires in the way so you would never see that um, but I'm happy with some things for example they, that's my fault, it's nothing to do with them, but they painted like all in there and stuff, even though this is smashed up and it should be higher. They actually painted all in there, which is nice. And then, obviously stuff like this, that's not really their fault, because obviously that rubber seal is meant to be there, and it's moved and it's come off. But the door handles have always been like that, which obviously, you know, you can see, and for example, bits like this. So that's why I wanted to repaint all this, but I couldn't, because I'd ripped paint off that side, and I didn't want to do the same. And then obviously this is a big one. See how, that's, see how that can all move? 
It's obviously a clips like going there. But as you can see, there's a lot of paint that has come off. But I'm gonna show some more little areas around the car. Now this is me getting very picky, but if you look carefully, right there, if you get the camera to oh, there it is, you can see that little chip there. That just came off randomly one day. Now obviously around here, it looks like that, so that's pretty average. And it's all sort of come off there. And obviously in the doors it's red, that is what it is. I'm fine with that. Now this, I said that a while ago, it's starting to rust a little bit. But obviously when they painted, they did take the snorkel off and then just painted over the bracket. So the bracket's actually a sandy top colour and it actually looks quite like professional when it really shouldn't be. Now, this indicator has the worst. You can see just there how it's clearly not been done properly around that indicator. And then little bits in there are bound to happen and then obviously it's that same effect on the flare, which is a bit annoying. And obviously there as well. So you can see everywhere how it doesn't and why it doesn't. Alright, so as of so far, I've just done a quick skim around the car, but I haven't shown you the bonnet yet. Now, obviously the bonnet thing in front of the car is what takes all the impacts in terms of, you know, road debris, dirt, dust, gravel, etc. It's where the abuse comes from, technically. So there are a few little chips, but you almost wouldn't be able to find them. I just know where they all are because it's my car. And in an ideal world, obviously, I don't want any chips on the car at all. So I'll try and show you and then you can let me know if you think they're even chips at all. They're pretty small, some of them. A little bit right there, as you can see. And if you've got the bonnet here, it's a little bit dirty, so it might actually blend in with everything else. But there is actually a little chip, which I will find in a second. So just this little one here on the skin wiper, as you can see, I haven't put paint on it yet. So that's just chips exposed red. Now that's always been like that. They just didn't paint that when it came. Now there's another one here. It's very, you might not even be able to see it, but pretty much I'll focus near it. And I'll, the camera can't even focus, but pretty much it's just above my finger now. Come on. You should be able to do it. Oh, there it okay, is. <laughs> Sorry guys, you can kind of see it there. But pretty much right here where the camera sucks, there it is, clear as day. That is, used to be red and I've painted over it and as you can see, it's slightly in. It's not the same thickness as this. The touch of paint does nowhere near good a job as it should. Now, down here, all that, that's not really paint, that's damage. That's from this with the bonnet being opening and scraping against the aerial. So that's not their fault at all. And then, you know, if you're getting picky in there as well, and then obviously they went over the rust. <laughs> um, and then maybe a little bit there. So it just depends how picky you are. Obviously, you may not even know about this. If you stand back here, like in all my videos and photos, it just looks like a nice car that's been painted sandy top, which it is. <laughs> so I'm obviously happy with it. So obviously you can laugh all you want, but at the end of the day, it was 800 bucks plus the bonnet, so technically 900 dollars for a paint job that my first quote was four and a half grand. Now, at the time, this car was five and a half grand, so I could have almost just bought another Prado. So if you put it in perspective like that, I could have had this car painted like four or five times and you know, similar money sort of thing. Now, I've already done the video why I did it, and you guys already know why I did it. Awesome car makes it unique, etc. Really awesome, really happy with it. So, what I'm trying to say is, I regret nothing, and I'm very glad I did it, and I hope you guys can agree to it at home, especially for the price. Now, my next car, would I do the same paint job? Great question. The answer is no, I actually wouldn't. My next car, I would actually get it done properly and spend the extra four and a half grand. And the main reason is, when it comes to mud wheeling and full on like high pressure cleaning. I'm very skeptical of this literally coming off because it came off with some paint, but the paint will only come off in the finicky areas where the guys haven't sanded properly. For example, in that door on that little ridge. Whereas a panel like here, for example, in here, that wouldn't come off with a high pressure cleaner because it's a big area that would have they've sanded it properly. But all the crevices like under here, for example, that's when it's going to get you. So hopefully that makes sense um, to you guys. But obviously my next car, I want it to be done well and properly because it's going to be a very expensive car. So I'm going to make sure it's a proper professional done paint job. Well, at the end of the day, this is an old Toyota, you know, 25, 26 year old car. And all that was ever going to happen to it was get thrown through the bush and get full driving. So obviously, you know, I don't want a showboat car and have a, you know, really expensive paint job. Um, hence the, not budget theme, but uh, I'm pretty stingy and I want to do it cheap but also uh, good. And I think this is really a really good compromise for price 
and for how it's on the card, you know what I mean? So considering it's been over on here for, you know, 13 months, over a year, and it's still on here looking great, that's good enough for me and for where I'm at with uh, how much money I want to spend on it. So as you can see, here's the reasons why I'm happy with how it is. Some of you might be shocked at how much paint's come off, and that's fair enough. Um, and a lot of you guys have, uh, I have given a lot of phone numbers about the guy who painted my car, because everyone was really curious, um, which is fair enough. But, so th th that's how mine's held up after a year. Hopefully yours is better, I guess. Um, but you know, this is a four wheel drive, so it has been abused probably a bit more than some of your cars out there if you're painting you know, a Commodore or something that's not gonna go through trees. So there's my reasoning. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that was interesting for you all. And hopefully you can now look at the other video and then look at this video and you can sort of see the comparison between you know, that YouTube video was 10 months ago, so it's not quite a year, but I've had the paint for over a year. So 10 months in that video to now, hopefully you can look at it and go, oh yeah, you know what? You know, a lot of it has actually come off. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoy and I'll catch you guys next time on Built Prado. Cheers.